there boys and girls, this is James from Boondock Gypsy and once again today we're going to be playing the guitar. I said playing the guitar, not playing with the guitar. So what are we going to do today? Thank you for asking my friend. No, we're not doing that. We're going to be doing some finger style open G tuning stuff. It's gonna be pretty. If you have your guitar handy, you may want to tune up to mine. I am tuned to open G, but I'm actually a half step low, so you could say I'm tuned to open G flat. First is the low E string, which is now tuned to D flat. Let me play that again for you. Next, the second to the fattest string. Then the next string right there. Last but not least. All right, let's go. Okay, the song is called Sweet Tea and Cornbread by the duo that I am a part of, Boondock Gypsy. What, you don't know how to play anyone else's songs? Yeah, I know a lot of songs by other people, but there's plenty of other YouTube videos telling you how to play those songs by other people. Well, why don't you do some anyway? Okay, in the future I will. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The voices in my head are busy today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play the different sections of the song for you, and then we'll come back and break it down, and I'll show you in detail how to play this lovely tune. All right, here is the intro. Then when the vocals come in, it's pretty much the same thing during the verse. It does that several times. And then we have another change. slightly different than the intro. Then it goes back to there, and that is basically all the parts for the song. So, let's go ahead and take a look at these in detail. And first is the intro, which is completely open. You just finger pick it however you want to pick it, whatever pattern you want to use. Use as many fingers as you want to use, or as few. Do it with your thumb and pointer if you want. Do all five if you would like. So the first chord is open. The next chord, you're going to hammer on to that kind of action. You're on the first fret, second string, and then the second fret on the fourth string. So that's the first part. And then you're going to slide up two frets. Then you're going to reverse. And then we go 
to another change where we're using the same fingering that you slid up to and we're going to add in the pinky and the ring finger. On the first string, see that? Slide down. Second fret, first string, then open. So that's basically all you need to know for the intro. And then the verse is pretty much the same. And then we go to a change where we're going to go up to the fifth fret bar across five strings here and then we're going to use our uh, ring finger and pinky on the seventh fret see that there you go right there and right there there and there then you pull them off then slide down to same exact fingering across individually picking those five strings so I'll play that for you again bar across the fifth fret bring down your ring finger and pinky pull off put them back pull them off then slide down put them back open stuff there to get the see open open slide down again there then open, then more harmonics. Boy, I bet it's making me dizzy to watch this because I keep wiggling around. I'm sorry. I'll try to stay still. We're not done yet. The instrumental section of the song is much like the verses, but with a few minor variations in tempo, along with some nifty harmonics. in the verses and that you can do as much as you want then the change in the instrumental is we do the same thing up here at the 12th fret letting the harmonics ring just lightly 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 super lightly place a finger across the 12th fret directly over the fret You're gonna pick the notes just like you would if it was open. This fingering here is the same as here, just 12 frets higher. So you put your pointer right there on the th uh, 12, uh, excuse me, your pointer goes on the 13th fret. Yeah. And then you put your um, uh, middle finger, that birdie finger, on the 
14th fret. See it? And that's pretty much all the pieces of that musical puzzle. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. When we get together next time, we're going to learn some delicious licks in... Yeah.